Y'all ask and I'm delivering. Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a mop top, one brand wash day. And honestly, I was a little surprised that y'all were so interested in seeing this brand in the new one brand wash day series format. If you haven't been here hanging out for the one brand wash day series, what we're doing is we are keeping things simple. We're keeping as many variables the same as humanly possible. And I'm using all products from one brand on this head of hair. This is meant to give you a really good basis of comparison between brands, between products, so that you can make informed decisions as the consumer about whether or not these products might work well for you. Now, in the past, I have done a bunch of Mop Top One Brand wash days, and the reason for that is I love Mop Top. They are my OG faithful products. <laughs> I have loved these products for a very long time. Thank you, Real Life Curly Girl, here on YouTube, who introduced me to this awesome brand. Not only are they based in Texas, which is near and dear to my heart, I actually know the founder. She is incredibly intentional and passionate about her formulas, and she is one of those people who is incredibly picky about product testing. So she doesn't miss things. Her products are extremely consistent. I really like this brand a whole lot. And I actually have several one brand wash days already on this channel featuring these products, but we do not have a mop top video in the new one brand wash day format, meaning that we use a shampoo, a conditioner, and a styler. Very, very simple routine. Why? Because this is a very busy season of life. All right, enough jibber jabber. Let me show you the before hair. I have weird phrases. Who says jibber jabber anymore? Probably just me. Please make me feel better. Comment down below if you say jibber jabber. All right, here is what the before hair is looking like. I can't even remember what I did to my hair the last time I washed it. I'm pretty sure I followed my routine of clarify and the condition, no, I clarified and used the K18 hair mask because that's like really easy. Anyway, that is all that's going on in my hair. Clarify, K18, air dry product free. So we have no definition at all. We are completely stretched out. This hair is pretty, pretty greasy, pretty greasy. It's been incredibly hot where I live. This is what the back is looking like. All right, that is the before hair. Let's head to my bathtub and wash this hair. Hello, welcome to my tub. Just starting things off by getting my hair nice and soaking wet. I know I say this every time, but if you struggle with getting a really good clean, maybe your hair isn't completely saturated with water when you start. So now that my hair is nice and soaking wet, I'm grabbing the Mop Top Gentle Shampoo. This is the Bamboo Fragrance, and you may be asking yourself, what is Bamboo Fragrance? It's heavenly is what it is. I am terrible at describing it, but it is just really sweet and soft. This product contains sodium C14, C16 olefin sulfonate, cocomita propobetaine as the main surfactants. It also contains silk amino acids, honey, seaweed extract, really nice ingredients. It does foam and lather really, really nicely. As I scrub this into my scalp with the pads of my fingers, really taking my time. It, it almost got all of my day four greasy scalp taken care of. This is one of those shampoos that has a smaller lather, but it does distribute very easily through the hair. The shampoo has a little bit of slip of its own. I am going to go in with a second cleanse because that's what I do. If I don't feel like it quite got everything the first time around, I'm gonna wash my hair again, and you're gonna see that this foams and lathers so much better on the second time around. This is very common for sulfate-free shampoos to need a second cleanse, to just go one more time. 
I know it seems like double the work, but it's actually so much easier to cleanse your hair the second time around than the first time around. All right, now I'm going to rinse that shampoo out of my hair completely before I grab the Mop Top Daily Conditioner. This is also the bamboo fragrance, and this is a really interesting consistency. It does contain water, aloe leaf juice, glycerin, cetyl alcohol, cetyl alcohol, cetrimonium chloride, the hetrimonium chloride, olive fruit oil, shea butter, silk amino acids, vitamin E, panthenol, honey. This thing for a drugstore product is really power packed with nice ingredients. And this is one of the first curly hair friendly conditioners that I tried that had incredible amounts of slip, which is why I loved it so much. I was used to my silicone chocked full conditioners and when I switched over to Curly Girl with no silicones, I was really sad because most conditioners didn't detangle my hair. Mop Top Daily Conditioner changed my mind about that and now that I have that conditioner all combed through with my fingers, I am grabbing my Bounce Curl Defining Brush. I'm still hooked on this thing, I'm still loving it. I am going to finish distributing that conditioner through my hair with this brush, make sure that everything is super evenly coated before I add just a touch more water to my hair and commence the squish to condition. I really enjoy squish to condition, especially if my hair is really stretched out. I feel like this step really helps reactivate my curl pattern. I've kind of given up on the idea that somehow it's making the conditioner penetrate into my hair better, but it's really satisfying and it's a habit at this point and I like it. So now that I've got my squish to condition done, I am going to rinse this conditioner out completely before I grab that Bounce Curl Defining Brush one more time and begin organizing my curl clumps. I am following the same sort of routine that I showed in detail in the Dippity Doo Girls With Curls One Brand Wash Day where I showed you exactly how I brush style, pushing the hair away from my face, pulling it off the sides of my head, and really focusing on the crown section as well. Once I've done that, I am going to kind of stand up and shake the hair off the back of my head, swing the curl clumps into place and give my hair a nice little scrunch. Once that's done, I grab the Mop Top Curl Enhancer Gel. Yes, I am not using the Cult Classic Mop Top Custard. Instead, I grabbed the Curl Enhancer Gel because this product is glycerin free. A lot of people find that their hair reacts to the glycerin in the mop top custard. And if you are wanting to try a mop top styler that's glycerin free, this is a great option. This is a medium consistency, not super runny, not super thick, really distributes, smooths out easily in the hands. I'm just going to glaze this over my hair and start scrunching it in. It contains aloe leaf extract, VP copolymer, honey, algae extract, as well as those glorious silk amino acids. I find that my hair loves that ingredient. It makes my hair feel very soft and slippery and tangle-free for days. This is what the hair is looking like once I have applied that gel. Now I'm just going to go pull up my hair and diffuse and be back to scrunch out the crunch with you guys. Alrighty guys, I have plopped and diffused my hair and we're just gonna go ahead and start scrunching out the crunch because I am running late for some mom things. <laughs> I have an appointment. Anyway, this product casted on my hair, but it was a very soft sort of silky cast, which I really liked the feel of. I diffused my hair to the 90% dry mark and then it let it finish air drying the rest of the way. Now that it's 100% dry, I'm scrunching out the crunch and fluffing it really fast because I gotta go. <laughs> this is why we keep wash days short and simple here on this channel. I got stuff to do. Don't have a lot of time for the hairs. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look, look, look. This is so cute. It's one of those helix curls. So cute. All right. This is what the hair is looking like after I have scrunched it and fluffed it.
It's shiny, it's soft, it smells good, I have good definition, and as always, I will be back at the end of the day to show you how it held up, and I'll be back for the morning of day two to show you how it held up overnight. Hello guys, from the end of the day, Courtney face. <laughs> my face gets so crusty by the end of the day, so if you look at my face and are like, what is happening? It's actually an alternative treatment that I am trying out for my autoimmune condition, for my rheumatoid arthritis. So please ignore this. Let's just focus on the hair. This, look at this. I have so many chunked together, sweet looking ringlets. I'm very, very pleased with. I don't know what happened on this side. <laughs> this side decided to take a nap and yeah, it got really stretched out. Maybe it's just this top section because the underneath layer maybe has some more wave going on. Anyway, let's take a look at the back, shall we? Yeah, that looks really, really cute. I like the back. It is just this section. Did not get the memo about today was a wavy curly hair wash day, but some things I would like to note. Grit level is 0.5. <laughs> it's almost zero, but not quite. My hair really feels like I could just totally finger detangle it right now. There is so much slip in my hair. I do feel that this is a true medium hold. It's not light hold, but it doesn't give like the same level of hold as the Briogeo gel, which is the absolute hardest hold gel I have ever tried. I love the feel of my hair. I love the fragrance in my hair. I love the shine in my hair. Overall, I've been incredibly pleased with this wash day. So I will see you in the morning to see how this held up overnight for day two. Good morning. Here we are on the morning of day two. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't magically somehow spring and curl up overnight. As a wavy haired person, that does not happen to me. I know people with a tighter curl pattern who will like do their hair and then it will like get curlier on them. But as someone with a looser curl pattern, typically it starts off as curly as it's gonna get and then it stretches out. So if that's happening to you, congratulations. You're not doing anything wrong. You were just blessed with wavy hair. So this is 100% unrefreshed hair. Let me turn around and show you the back. This is a day where I would try and refresh it. In fact, let's do that today because it's been a while since I've included a swavy curly refresh attempt in one of these one brand wash day videos. And the reason for that is I've been feeling lazy and I hate refreshing and I'm absolutely terrible at it. But today is the day, my friends. I had all of those beautiful chunky ringlets over on this side yesterday, they are gone. This side basically just wants to be straight with like this big, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's kind of this giant chunk of hair and Let's see, yep, you can see it. It's pretty frizzy. So I think that I used enough of that gel yesterday that I can reactivate it with just some water in a Flarisol bottle. These are those bottles that like do a really fine mist. And if you press the handle enough, it kind of does that continuous spray. I am thinking that I'm gonna douse my hair. Some people say that if you use like warm water, it works better. I haven't found that to make all that much difference for me because as it sprays out, it cools off. So I'm just gonna douse my hair for a minute and I will be back to continue refreshing. Reason 587, I hate refreshing. My floor is now soaked. <laughs> in theory, in order to get my hair this wet, I could have just 
I don't know, stuck my head in the shower, but I was thinking about it and I know for certain I haven't rinsed out any of yesterday's gel, but there is a chance that I need to add just a tiny bit more today. So I'm grabbing just a tiny bit more of the same gel I used yesterday on soaking wet hands. And I'm just gonna glaze this over. And I'm really flipping my head from side to side. Lift the hair off, scrunch all the way to the root. These are what my curl clamps, wow, are looking like. You can see that they're pretty frizzy, but there is a lot more curl enhancement back in my hair. Here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to micro plot my hair with a microfiber towel, then I'm gonna diffuse and I will be back to show you the refreshed results. I may have finally done it, guys. <laughs> I may have finally successfully refreshed my hair. So I plopped, micro plopped, meaning I scrunched my hair with my Perfect Hair Care towel just to remove some of the excess water. I diffused it to 90% dry. I let it finish air drying the rest of the way. Look at all this curl that came back. Now, there is still just a tiny bit of a cast in my hair, not much, but let's take a quick look at the cast. It's a little stringy. Let's scrunch it out and see what happens. Ooh, and my hair smells good all over again. <laughs> I did it. I win. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. My curl clumps are kind of smaller than they are on a wash day, but I feel like that's giving me even more curl enhancement. Let's take a quick look at the final refresh results. It's a lot of work to refresh and for it to not turn out cute is very discouraging. But if it would turn out like this every time, I would refresh more often. Here are some reasons I think this refresh worked so well for my hair. Not all products work magically to refresh my hair. Usually my hair gets to feeling more dry and sticky. It's way more frizzy. The curl enhancement doesn't come back all the way. My roots are already greasy on day two because I'm an oily, greasy girl. And it just usually makes more sense for me to wash, condition, style, plop, diffuse all over again, rather than wet my hair, plop, diffuse. I might as well just wash and condition and style in front of that because the results are usually so much better for me. Cause I'm oily, greasy, et cetera, et cetera. A bunch of reasons. However, with the Mop Top Gentle Cleansing Shampoo, my roots are still super clean and lightweight feeling. This has enough cleansing power to keep my hair clean for more than just one day. Also, the conditioner has enough staying power. It's like it conditioned my hair really well when I washed it and my hair is continuing to feel conditioned as the wash day progresses that my hair is not getting that dried out crispy feeling. And this gel, this gel gives my hair hold and slip. The grit level is very, very low, so my hair doesn't get that weird, gritty, gross feeling if I try and refresh. It just feels soft and bouncy and shiny and so good. So those are my thoughts on why the Mop Top products allowed me to have a successful refresh when in the past we have had some tragic refresh fails. 
I also really went for it today and got my hair more soaking wet than I have on certain refreshes. You have to think about the balance of the amount of water versus how long that's going to take your hair to dry and diffuse versus the refresh results. If you try and use too little water so that you have a really fast dry time, your hair may be super frizzy and you have a terrible refresh. You may use a ton of water and it takes your hair a really long time to dry because you added a lot more water to it, but the refresh results are better because your hair needed that amount of water in it to get it to re-clump together, reorganize the curl families, etc. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, it would mean the world to me if you'd give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out in the YouTube algorithms. Also, if you feel like sharing this video with your buddies, again, greatly appreciated. It sure does help me out. I sure hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day. Let me know in the comments down below which one brand wash day you would like to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.